On November 3rd, an event is coming to San Francisco's Golden Gate Park designed for everyone, no matter your shape, size, or fitness level. It's called Lard Butt, and it's a run of about half a mile. It includes a beer station, donut stations, costumes, and it benefits the San Francisco Marin Food Bank. For more on the spirit of the day, we are joined by the general manager of the 1K, Mark Peterson. Welcome. Good morning, Mark. Hey, thanks for having me. Tell me a little bit about your background here, because where did you grow up? I grew up in rural Montana. Okay, rural Montana, would you consider yourself an athletic teenager, played sports? Yeah, so there are a bunch of us who grew up playing sports together, big guys, big mamas, if you will, mm -hmm. athletic guys. We started slowing down big time about 10 years ago, so we're like, we got to do something about this. And we took a look at the landscape. There's 5Ks, 10Ks, marathons. What about something for the rest of us? We thought, let's do a 1K and make it for below average athletes. And instead of water stations, let's do donut stations every 250 meters. So why did you feel that was important to do? To make it more accessible to everybody because a lot of people are intimidated by yep. longer races. But this gets people moving and it also does some good. For example, next Saturday, November 3rd, we're also generating food donations for the SF Marin Food Bank. So we get 1,000 people coming. If they each bring two cans of food, that's a lot of food for those in need. How long is a 1K? 1K is 0 0.62 miles. <laughs> you get a nice sticker. So, I like that, that sticker, too. It's, it's a decal. That's right. You know, I, I, uh, several years ago, I realized my 20th high school reunion was coming up, and I wanted to get in shape because I didn't want to see those girls with me still being right. mushy. The process of starting to run, having never run before, is very difficult. Yeah. Trust me. Guide us through it for the first-timers. Well, for the first-timers, that's part of what's nice about this event. It's completely no pressure. We don't even time it. In fact, we have three waves. There's a show-off wave for those with the audacity to run. Okay. They're actually going to be booed. Okay. Then we have a Legends because wave for those. Because they take off so fast. Exactly. They actually get heckled <laughs> a little bit because right. this is completely non-timed. We have a Legends wave for those who weigh 250 or more, and we have a Waddler's wave for the rest of us. So it's three waves plus a kid's dash. But I've heard back from a lot of people who did it last year, and they've mm -hmm. moved on to 5 and 10K events and even a half marathon. So it's a good starting point for people. What's it say? Because last year you guys were at uh, about six, 700 participants. Yes. yes. Now you say you mentioned 1,000. We'd like to get up to about 1,000, So, yeah. you, you know, it's obviously being received. Yeah. Uh, what, how do you read that? What do you read into that? Well, I think people can relate to the idea that we're not all elite athletes. Let's get out there and have some fun and do some good. And so a lot of people have come to our site, lardbutt.com, where they can register and learn more information. But over time, it kind of takes on a viral effect. They have a good time. They realize it's fun to get moving, but also to do some good in the community. So, so what do you say to a doctor way? or someone out there is like kind of disagrees with you and says, no, you know, maybe you should all be athletes. Maybe you should run faster or longer or harder. Lard butts come in all shapes and sizes. Well, we have elite athletes. And we you got to start doing somewhere, their, right? Yeah. yeah. We, let's, let's all lighten up a little bit and have some fun. Do you ever get any pushback, though, on that name? Because it, it's one thing if I call myself a lard butt. It's another thing to have someone else name a race for me with that word. Do you see what I'm well, saying? Well, the brand is a reflection on those of us who started the company, so if we're making fun of anybody, we're making fun of ourselves. And people get that, and they get that it's a good-natured event. It's not a money maker. It's to, it's to benefit charities. Yeah. And, and if really you're offended, don't go, right? Yeah. Okay. You mentioned but, the food bank, so you encourage everyone to bring a couple of cans of, of food. Yeah. What, if, what if someone just wants to bring cash or money? That's right even to, better. Is that a possibility to do Yeah, that's well? even better. So our friends at F SF Marin Food Bank, a dollar there is the equivalent of $5 worth of food. So we're accepting cash, food donations, non-perishables, and again, again, it goes to SF Marin Food Bank. I like your products. Uh, one of them says uh, XXXL. Yes. Uh, so no matter the, the size, larger, that's what it says. For the, exactly, for the larger people to feel comfortable. Well, that's I, right. I, I do try to tell my little ones, you know, that one of them used the word fat the other day. And oh. I said, we don't, you know, we don't, right. da, 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 but I say, you can be, you can be trim and be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. You right. can be 300 pounds and be healthy, according to some doctors. Do we need to get away from size? Absolutely. I mean, many years ago, I ran the New York Marathon, and there were some large people who passed me as if I was standing still, and I thought that was pretty cool. Good. Oh, so this is, get, this is something for everybody. Good. We don't have to get rid of these donuts, right? You yourself, by the way, I want to tell you something. You yourself don't look like a lard butt. Well, I'm getting a little short of breath because I'm sucking my gut in, but thank okay. you. <laughs> Trust Let me, tell the viewers, I know how that feels. We do have more information uh, about how to register on our website at KTVU.com. Look for it in the web link section under the Mornings on 2 tab. You can also find it in the KTVU uh, mobile app. Mark Peterson, uh, thanks for coming in. Have thank a great you. Uh, race there November 3rd in San Francisco. So Shall we do a donut curl? Let's you want do a spray. it. Let me pass Let's do a little okay. exercise. Right yeah. this one. Get a bicep break. workout. That's right. I'll take, I want a jelly fill, actually. Mike, no offense, but um. Okay, no <laughs> offense. Take it more for us on this side. Okay, of the That's right. here we go. Which one? Let me see. Let me see.